Girl About Library and I'm here today to talk about five quotes from the book Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Dale Honeyman. I read this book at the end of January and it is amazing. Like instant five star review for me. It's one of those books where I finished it and I was like, how is this going to get better? How am I going to read a better book than this by the end of 2018? This is a book that I love not just for the plot and not just for character development. <laughs> this is a book that I love not just for the plot, not just for the character development, but for the language. There are so many quotes from this book that are amazing. The first book that I did this for was Lab Girl and I will leave a link above and below to, to that video. Basically I pick five quotes from the book, I have them here, I'll put them up on the screen. These are non-spoiler quotes so no worries there. Let's discuss, let's discuss what I love about these. Um, how they connect to the book, how they connected to me, and the meaning of life. <laughs> Here we go. Quote number one. Was this how it worked then? Successful social integration? Was it really that simple? Wear some lipstick, go to the hairdressers, and alternate the clothes you wear? I had had more attention from them today. Non-malevolent, positive attention that is, than I'd had in the last few years. I smiled to myself, pleased that I'd unlocked part of the puzzle. This quote just drew me into Eleanor. Um, she is such a unique but full character and Gail Honeyman does such a good job writing her. I'm not a writer, but to me as a reader, it seems like it's really easy to just throw together a quirky character. And Eleanor is, she is quirky. <laughs> she is real quirky. She's got some issues on top of the quirk. and that can really make her feel unrelatable and hard to hard to get close to. But that essential desire to fit in, to be normal, uh, to understand the puzzle that is fitting in um, is so relatable. I found also in reading this book that I was kind of embarrassed and ashamed and um, shocked at how much I didn't relate to Eleanor in a moment, but I related to the other people who were interacting with her because I am sure that there have been times when I welcomed someone kind of like into the fold or I felt more comfortable around them because they were socially integrated, right? I, and I don't think I'm alone in that. I think that's something that we all do. And Eleanor Oliphant and her character and how, how much you understand about her by the end of the book and, and why she does what she does. I just feel like this book can teach empathy to others so well and models it so well and that is definitely one of the things that I really appreciate about this book. Quote number two, these magazines could tell me which clothes and shoes to wear, how to have my hair styled in order to fit in. They could show me the right kind of makeup to buy and how to apply it. This way I would disappear into every woman acceptability. I would not be stared at. The goal ultimately was successful human camouflage as a human woman. I am pretty sure I laughed out loud <laughs> after reading this. Um, and this book is really funny and I didn't expect that going in, but this book is hilarious and I have another quote coming up that I know I laughed out loud after reading. One of the things this book really does a good job of touching on is the absurdity of this world we've created and the illogical and like sometimes completely unknowable rules. Eleanor didn't have any support in figuring these things out. Um, she didn't have the support of mothers, she didn't have support of friends, she didn't have anyone who she could ask these things of and it is amazing to me in the book how she kind of clues herself into what it means to become, you know, this human camouflage um, and it also kind of makes me feel like Eleanor is this like huge badass for not wearing that camouflage because for me as a person <sighs> disappearing into every woman acceptability and I mean that is that is my armor going into social situations where I'm not comfortable all that I want is to put on my camouflage and it really does feel more like armor than camouflage. It's protective because I, I feel like I'm I'm blending in and, and Eleanor doesn't have that. She has to go through every day with physical and emotional signs that she is not like everyone else and 
you really get a sense in this book of, of how hard that is. And again, it makes you question, you know, how do I enforce these unknown and difficult rules of woman acceptability? How and why do I judge others who don't get it or don't care to get it? Um, which leads me into quote number three. The thing is, Eleanor, you need an ankle boot with skinny jeans. Really, she said, as seriously as though she were a hospital consultant giving medical advice. I definitely laughed out loud <laughs> after reading this. Um, it is just, it's one of those moments in the book that is so relatable and so true to life as a woman. There are these rules that we've set up and the seriousness with which we take them is just ridiculous. And I, I oh gosh, the moments in this book that got to me that really made me teary were these moments when, <laughs> I'm gonna cry, when a woman clued Eleanor into something um because it it's such a silly thing to cry about but like it's so hard it is so hard to feel like you belong and to feel like you fit in and it would have been so easy for several women in this book to just brush Eleanor off and be like you are so weird get away um but instead gave her a piece of advice or shared something with her not in a way to be to be cruel or say like you you don't belong because you don't know this but just so that she would feel like she belonged so that she would have this information this this guide this guiding that she she needs so that she can feel like she fits in the, the quote was also really funny though and there are lots of moments like that in this book and it's just it's heartwarming and also just like cuts through so much bullshit all right, now moving on to some more serious quotes. And also I'm cheating because I just realized there are six quotes this time, so. She looked at him with so much love that I had to turn away. At least I knew what love looks like, I told myself. That's something. No one had ever looked at me like that, but I'd be able to recognize it if they ever did. This quote choked me up as I was reading. This is one of those moments in the book that really makes you stop and it's just, it's hard. Eleanor does not know that kind of love and it is such an essential part to me of being happy and feeling alive and just the way Gail Honeyman explores that in this book, explores how there are people who don't know that. Um, it made it all the more sad knowing that she can see it and she can see love being shared with others but she's never experienced it herself. The next two quotes um, have to deal with loneliness and I'm going to read them together. When the silence and the aloneness pressed down and around me, crushing me, carving me through like ice, I need to speak aloud sometimes if only for proof of life. It often feels as if I'm not here, that I am a figment of my own imagination. There are days when I feel so lightly connected to the earth that the threads that tether me to the planet are gossamer thin, spun sugar. The strongest of wind could dislodge me completely, and I'd lift off and blow away like one of those seeds in a dandelion clock. Reading Eleanor Oliphant, there are chunks of this book that feel like poetry more than fiction um and it is just it's so beautifully written like how this book can do so many things and it's just so brilliant the book itself was written after gail honeyman was inspired by an article she wrote about people who were exceptionally lonely and this book does such a good job exploring how that loneliness dehumanizes you and makes you feel like you are missing all of these essential parts of what it means to live this one life that we are given and also how each of us as individuals has that key that we can do something and say something to other people who who don't have that um, we have that power and it's just it's it's so inspirational to me. So that's it guys, those are five quotes from Eleanor Oliphant, It's Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman that I 
absolutely love. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more bookish content. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to others and have a great day.